Hey what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Anakin Skywalker is now likely the greatest duelist in the galaxy at the time of Ahsoka. In his mastered state in the world between worlds, we saw Anakin switching back and forth with Vader while exhibiting total mastery over his lightsaber form. We did a video not too long ago detailing about how his form has now become perfect in almost every single way. But today, we wanted to go back and look at the battle experience that Anakin had, how it changed his lightsaber form and mindset throughout his life. At first, it all culminated in the terrifying duelist that is Darth Vader. But now Anakin has evolved to a new state, one of balance and peace, that which combines the light and the dark to create something truly special. Not only has he achieved perfect balance in the Force, but also within himself, which is all shown in his lightsaber form. Anakin is a person who was chiefly shaped by his experiences, and it's our speculation that his total mastery over the blade and this style was one of the resources that helped him grow into balance beyond death. Rarely do Force Ghosts retain their lightsabers, yet Anakin did. This is no accident, because we know how much combat really meant to Anakin as a person. So let's go ahead and open yet another holocron and dive into its evolution, and what formed Anakin Skywalker's blade style. One of the most curious aspects of Anakin's lightsaber form was why he chose it in the first place. He specialized in Form 5 Shien and Gem So, the most aggressive and strength-based of all the lightsaber forms. This is rather curious since his Master was Obi-Wan trained by Qui-Gon, both of whom used Form 4. While Form 4 Ataru is still very aggressive, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan seemed far more measured with it, and were able to use its principles from other forms in an attempt to make up for its lack of defense. Both Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon mastered Form 4, yet Anakin completely shunned this and went for Form 5. This was shocking since none of his predecessors had ever used it. Before Qui-Gon Jinn was Dooku, a Makashi master, and then above him Yoda. Anakin clearly chose his lightsaber form for a personal reason, and it wasn't to follow in the footsteps of those who came before. Anakin was always known for forging his own path, which he would do from the moment that he chose to specialize in Form 5. As a young child, Anakin was fearful and constantly worried about the people around him. He was no coward, but only wanted those he cared for to stay safe. Having left behind his mother in slavery on Tatooine, Anakin's only comfort came from Qui-Gon, who had then promptly been slain by Darth Maul. In fact, it would seem that Darth Maul is the catalyst for quite a few things concerning Anakin's lightsaber. In the Legends comic run Jedi Quest, it is revealed that Anakin was terrified of Darth Maul for a long time following the death of Qui-Gon Jinn. The memory of the Sith assassin haunted him, since it was a reminder that he was utterly helpless to stop the death of Qui-Gon, his father figure. While Obi-Wan took a young Anakin to Ilum for his lightsaber crystal, the Caverns of Ilum produced force illusions of Darth Maul that preyed on Anakin's fears. Anakin would soundly defeat the Vision and overcome his fear before grasping his kyber crystal for the very first time. This feud that he had with the very memory of Maul didn't end here though, as in canon, Anakin would train relentlessly with the Jedi Temple Simulacrum of the Sith, which had been programmed by Obi-Wan to mimic Darth Maul. I think it wouldn't be too far-fetched to say that Anakin chose Form 5, because its domineering ways appealed to him. It made him feel secure in knowing that he wouldn't hesitate to protect those around him, and to Anakin, Form 5 would be the form that would help him defeat Darth Maul using a form with superior strength to cut them down when he was given the chance. This would cause Anakin to grow extremely arrogant in the form, up until the Battle of Geonosis, when he would be humbled by one Count Dooku, cementing Anakin Skywalker's first major defeat. Anakin had rushed in out of emotion after Dooku had killed so many Jedi in the arena, but Anakin was unprepared for the power that the Sith possessed. Dooku was no simulacrum from the temple, but a fully-fledged Sith Lord and one of the greatest swordsmen of the era. He made short work of Obi-Wan, and Anakin stopped him before another one of his masters was killed at the hands of the Sith. Here, though, Anakin had mostly been using Xien, which was the traditional style of Form 5. Xien focused mainly on blast deflection and was weak in lightsaber duels. Once Obi-Wan threw him a second blade, though, Anakin would switch to Jar Kai in hopes of gaining some kind of advantage over Dooku. But this tactic did not work either. Finally, he would switch to Gem So, 
though he had little time to refine it. This caused him to promptly lose his right arm to Dooku, who noticed the switch. During this battle, Anakin was just throwing anything he could at the wall in hopes that it would stick. Yet, he slowly realized just how far outclassed he was against the Elder Fallen Jedi. This experience was what propelled Anakin to specialize in lightsaber combat more than ever before. Skywalker focused on honing the more dueling-focused variant of Form 5, Gem So, and not be embarrassed again as Dooku had. This was the form that had an inherent advantage over Makashi, since it could gain momentum and power in a way that the fencer's form could not. Makashi's fatal weakness. Dooku's fatal weakness. He made up for this defeat and pushed ahead, knowing that he would one day get revenge on Dooku for his arm. This was indeed one of the first times that Anakin had suffered a loss at the hands of another, having been completely helpless to stop the power of Darth Tyrannus. It was just like when he was a little boy on Naboo, knowing Qui-Gon died and that there was nothing he could do to save him. We watched as Anakin quickly improved over the course of the Clone Wars, cutting his skill on Ventress a couple of times, while also in engaging Dooku several times during the war as well. Each time he went against Dooku, he got better at better. At first, he was getting easily tossed around by the Sith, but then came their duel on Naboo when Dooku attempted to kidnap the Chancellor. Here, Obi-Wan was not around, and Anakin was able to give himself into his aggressive feelings for the first time against Dooku. And that was the moment that he actually achieved greatness against him and managed to knock him down. For a moment, Anakin was even winning the duel. On Naboo, Anakin was driving Dooku back for most of the fight, and at one point, beat him into the ground and managed to slip his defenses long enough to actually choke the Sith Lord with his bare hand. Dooku here was forced to resort to Force Lightning to dispatch the Jedi. He almost had his revenge, but still fell short. Here, Anakin learned an important lesson though, the value of his aggressive feelings in congruency with Jem So. He was still weaker than Dooku in the Force, but he had a chance if he just let himself slip a little deeper. This was the entire purpose of Palpatine setting up their rematch on the Invisible Hand. Sidious had instructed Dooku to kill Obi-Wan so that he could replicate the results of Naboo and see Anakin drive himself further to the dark side. I am suddenly reminded of what Darth Vader said to Luke during their duel in Cloud City. Release your anger. Only your hatred can destroy me. It was here that Vader was actually relaying to Luke the lesson that he learned against Dooku. The only way to destroy a Sith was to reach this deeper level. Master Anakin, though, in the world between worlds, shows now this perfect control of his aggression, unlike the Anakin in Revenge of the Sith, and when to administer the proper dosage of anger during a fight. But Vader didn't just learn proper aggression from all of his interactions with Dooku, but also learned the values of Makashi. Vader would popularly use a two handed form of Makashi in conjunction with Jem So to make his strikes powerful and yet accurate. He also learned to use force powers alongside with his blade work, a typical Nyman skill that Anakin and Vader would employ later on. But Anakin also does a couple of things against Ahsoka that are more indicative of the lessons he learned from Obi-Wan. On Mustafar, Anakin learned several lessons. He first learned that although his aggression worked against Dooku, it did not work against Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan was a master of Sarisu, and he could just continuously defend against anything that Anakin dished out. This caused Vader to gain tunnel vision, and using this knowledge, Obi-Wan lured Anakin to a precarious location took the high ground, and changed Vader's life forever. Vader would employ the defensive sequences of Form 3, having gained a new appreciation of it since Obi-Wan defeated him. Obi-Wan dealing with the onslaught of Anakin, something that Vader thought to be impossible. He also learned how to prey on his opponent's weaknesses just as Obi-Wan had done to Anakin, learning how to control the pace of the fight. We see this with Anakin in the world between worlds, as he controls the pace of how fast the fight is going and in what direction. He also has Ahsoka's attention completely on him to the point where she wasn't paying attention to the fact that she was being backed into a corner. Anakin used that to his advantage and took control of the environment by slashing the bridge that they were standing on. All of the lessons that Vader took and used for darkness and evil, Anakin took for balance and for good. Anakin was in full control of everything, and when watching him in the world between worlds, this is illustrated in the very way that he fights. Anakin has learned to dominate others, and yet, how to pace a fight himself. He's also retained his lightsaber post-mortem, using it to bring peace between Vader and Anakin. Light and dark aligned within himself, and he is now the master that he was always meant to be. 
In conclusion, Anakin was shaped by his experiences, the battle that he fought, the ones that he won, and the ones that he lost. All of his fears and triumphs shaped the man that he is in the world between worlds, all his life. At some point, the Jedi and the Sith both looked down upon him, but they never understood that these battles would shape Skywalker into what he ultimately needed to be. But anyway, my friends, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on Anakin and his lightsaber form? and how experience shaped it. As always, my friends, thank you so much for visiting the channel today, and may the Force be with you.